we're here for round two for this historic launch. We're currently just inside T minus four hours, nine minutes. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein, he's talking to the crew. You won't hear any audio in here. In the back, there's a banner hanging on the wall of the elevator with the signatures of all the people who worked on this mission. So it was really important for them to hang that up in there so Bob and Doug could see it. Just taking in all the photographs, and there the doors are opening. Here they come. Great. And there they are, NASA astronauts. <laughs> Small crowd, but big cheers. And those Falcon wing doors are closing. Super sleek. See that prominent NASA new ball. Look at that shot. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. A little thumbs up from... The other is the Falcon support building. It's where all of our offices... And there it is. That uh, that shot really gives you a sense of the scale of the Falcon 9 rocket. Those Teslas look teeny, teeny, tiny, <laughs> uh, making their way up. This is the site of so much history, you guys. This is where Apollo and Saturn V rockets uh, that launched the moon uh, took astronauts from. Of course, we saw them pull up in the Teslas, and there they are. There they are, taken, taken in the site, um, craning to see the top of the Falcon 9 rocket. Oh, here they are. That's a really fast elevator. a beautiful view. Here's a live look at two astronauts about to climb right in. They do have um, stuff on their suits to protect from FOD. And they will buckle themselves in and attach their umbilicals to their suits. T minus two hours, 43 minutes. And we can see the seats start to rotate now. It's been a very exciting day so far. Um, we are predicting about a 50 50 uh, shot uh, of going this time. You have an outstanding team on the ground supporting you, and that is so important to have that ground support. You can see some clouds starting to gather over Launch Complex 39A. 50 50 percent chance of launching today. T minus one hour. 41 minutes 58 sounds like there's going to be another decision point before they start fueling uh, the Falcon 9 rocket uh, if the weather cooperates today to the International Space Station well, here's Dragon the SpaceX we're at T minus one hour so we're less than 50 minutes from the scheduled lift launch control immediately abort the launch Odyssey you can see a large white cloud coming off of the strong back that is normal Bob Doug on behalf of the entire SpaceX team it's been a huge honor to help you get ready for today's historic mission know that we're with you have an amazing flight, and enjoy those views of our beautiful planet. FTS is armed for launch. SpaceX Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. T minus 30 seconds. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has launched. And so rises a new era of American space flight. And with it, the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is going to be the triple 
will have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. You go. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Falcon two Alpha. And back ignition. Already almost 200 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn Equals beginning. Yeah. Standing by for second Stage one line cutoff confirmation. And back to step. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon. you. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And the there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. Waiting for confirmation now of that. Dragon step. separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you Count of Dragon December. separating. Confirmed. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. All right, so day for the history book, books. As you can see, we have lost some live signal there. Crew has doffed or gotten out of their spacesuits that they've been in for several hours now, and they kind of hang it up, almost like hanging up your clothes just to dry. This picture is of that pad, 39A, at the Kennedy Space Center with Bob and Doug still on the launch pad, the rocket still there, taken two minutes before the launch. So we can see they're there looking at their touch screens, uh, preparing for this uh, manual test that will be coming up in about 30 seconds. Go NASA! Go SpaceX! Go America! On the day American astronauts returned to space on an American rocket from American soil for the first time in nearly 10 years. You did it. I especially want to congratulate someone who truly embodies the American ethos of big thinking and risk taking. He's a little different than a lot of other people. He likes rockets. Elon Musk, congratulations. Congratulations, Elon. I want to be clear, <laughs> the mission is not yet over. Uh, this is a test flight, um, and so we are at the beginning. Um, what would you say to those who doubted SpaceX could do this? Do you have a message for them? And then um, what was your last conversation with Bob and Doug like? What did you, what did you talk about? Where was it? Um, thank you so much. Do I have a message for those who, what? what? Oh, doubted, okay. I was like, what? okay. Um, maybe I just blank out the word doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, no, I mean, I, to be totally frank, I doubted us too. So I, I thought we, uh, you know, had maybe, when starting SpaceX, we maybe had a 10% chance of reaching orbit. So, so, you know, to those who, who doubted us, I was like, well, I think you're probably right. You know? Well, everyone, welcome aboard Dragon. Without further ado, we would like to uh, welcome you aboard Capsule Endeavor. I'm going to migrate a little bit away from our seats here. A big smile for the camera. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the trip today with us on board the uh, Dragon Capsule Endeavor with our friend Trimmer, the Apatosaurus. Oh, wow, that's, that's awesome. That's a great view. We're just going to see Dragon get bigger and bigger. So it's it's closing in now. Five out of five burns done successfully, all nominal burns. And we are getting views, though, of Dragon from the International Space Station as it continues to close in. As you can see from the video, we are just passing over Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. A beautiful day pass right now. If you uh, look closely in the video, you can see just a sliver of moon uh, kind of halfway between the surface of the Earth and the uh, window pane. 
Uh, we do have a, a friend on board with us. We introduced you to Trimmer yesterday uh, when we did our uh, little activity with the camera. Trimmer also had a good night's sleep. I know that uh, both of our sons are pretty happy about that uh, with their pet dinosaur making it into orbit and, and having a good night uh, in zero gravity. Your screen now is a view of Dragon. You're starting to be able to distinguish the features a little bit more. And we did hear confirmation that the AI burn, the approach initiation burn, is in progress. Should be getting that arrival at waypoint one in just about six and a half minutes. Very cool to see those uh, thruster plumes. Again, we're racing that sunset. This Dragon continues to close four meters to go. Those shadows of the of the space station on the vehicle. We are inside the hands-off point, the CHOP, the crew hands-off point, one meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon <laughs> Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. So once soft capture is complete, and uh, I believe we'll get that call from from our core here, Anna, then uh, we'll get we'll get confirmation of hard capture, and uh, the crew, of course, aboard have have this information on their displays. In Dragon SpaceX, we estimate we are about an hour to Dragon hatch opening. You can see from the inside of Dragon now, the crew uh, doffed or took off their suits. Uh, make sure you had uh, copied our last and that we were still good on that uh, estimated timer that you gave us for 30 minutes. Dragon copies go for hatch opening and uh, remaining steps in four decimal four zero zero. And with that endeavor, welcome to the International Space Station. Please come aboard. We have Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley. Houston, we see you, and it, it's a great-looking photograph. Uh, so thanks for that. Stand by one. We'll call you when we're, we're ready for the event in the next few seconds. Crew all gathered in front of the cameras at the Node 2 forward end of the International Space Station. Just behind them is the hatchway to the Crew Dragon on this Demo 2 mission. Well, congratulations, gentlemen. The eyes of the world are upon you, and everyone is proud of you. All of the America is watching you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that was easy. That concludes our coverage of the SpaceX Demo 2 mission in conjunction with NASA. On behalf of all the teams that participated in this mission from Hawthorne to Houston, to Mission Control to the Kennedy Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston.